Now, as survivors of the Huruma collapsed building tragedy come to terms with what has befallen them, the government's reaction to the reality of substandard buildings has created yet another group of victims. Many of those evicted from buildings marked for demolition are tonight frantically begging their neighbors in other buildings for a place to shelter for the night. As KTN's Dorcas Wangira now reports, the victims are now bearing the brunt of punishment being meted on them for sins committed by by the landlords. Take a look. Huruma literally means mercy, an emotion inspired just by looking at the faces of people whose lives for the past week have been shaded by tragedy. Day seven since the fateful Friday when the building collapsed, multiple reactions have since manifested here, and it's the decision to evict people in several buildings that has left many unsettled. For those living in those here marked buildings, a two-day notice had been given to leave. Many don't understand where the directive came from, the Nairobi County Government and its council, the national government or even their landlords. They know they must leave and all it took was a glaring red X to seal their fate. By noon we are told that seven buildings have come down. Stephen Molua comes from Yata. He has lived here for nine years. Like many, he came here to look for a job, even if it was a casual one. His children, a son, Peter, aged six, and his sister, aged eight, were born here. He tells us that he had just paid his rent on the fifth deadline, 3,500 shillings. He hasn't had anything from his landlord. He, like many others, don't know what to do or where to take their children. Last night, they slept at a neighbor's place. Today is uncertain. Sasa mimi, hata sijui vile naweza fanya. Ndio hata ile pesa niko naye, nikiana kwa nyumba zingine huko, sinanitisha pesa mingi na sina hiyo. Na landi lote hata sijaongea na yeye, sijamuona. Unasikia ni kuumwa na tumbo, unasikia kichwa mtu macho, sijakula, sijalala. Mimi niko hapa tu nje. Niko na shida sana juu usingizi na waombea, kukula ni shida, utapikia wapi? Morina Ching has lived here for two decades. She tells us that she doesn't know why the older buildings have to come down. It's the newer ones, she says, that are faulty in foundation. Many families tell us they have lived here for many years, some even up to 20, as old as some of the buildings here are. They tell us that to be given two days to unpack those many years of their lives is unreasonable. By nightfall, they're not even sure where they'll be going or where they'll take their belongings. Saturday afternoon, Nairobi Governor Ivan Skidero added another seven days to the eviction process. In a statement released to the press, the time given is for the residents being evicted to find alternative places to live, a daunting task. The way of life here doesn't reflect many alternatives. For many like Stephen and his family, the damage has already been done. Dorcas Wangira, KTN News, Nairobi.